Weather with Tom Kiffin. I was just telling Andrew, our camera person, and also Becca, that I'm ready for a nap. Just looking at this webcam here, looking towards the northern center here on NMU's campus, and you can see just clouds, rain showers, wet weather, even though the grass is starting to turn a little green, but just the fog out there. Just kind of a lazy Monday out there and 74 degrees and sunshine on Saturday didn't help matters going back to this stuff for your daytime today. All right, let's look at our fog here and as we look at visibility, we're down to a half mile visibility at Sawyer International Airport and elsewhere we do have some lower visibilities as you go into the eastern UP, Luce County Airport and Schoolcraft County Airport down to seven mile visibility. As we look at three things to know here, we're going to keep the rain showers and fog around for tonight and then then also tomorrow as well, some rain showers hang around, maybe some fog. Also tonight to note, it's a slight chance, it's a low chance. Could see some wintry precipitation in some of the higher terrain areas west of Marquette. But we're back to sunshine Wednesday. Look at that sunshine, but temperatures aren't really going to respond much. Not in the 60s and 70s, but still I think inland areas get into the 50s. Wednesday, Thursday and Friday could see some rain or snow showers Thursday night. And then we're looking dry on into Saturday, but temperatures pretty much stay steady right through the weekend. Your UP community extended forecast coming up here in just a bit. Local three radar network spotty showers central and west. Steadier rain across the eastern UP. Jumpy on the other side of the lake. It's rain and snow north of Thunder Bay, Ontario. Really widening out the view here. I just want to show you the stationary boundary here. Extending pretty much from the northeastern United States through lower Michigan. And then back off to the south and west. What this is doing here is dividing. Yeah, we're on the wrong side of another boundary again. The chillier, cooler air from the warmer summer like air, but as we go into Wednesday, high pressure in the Canadian prairies is going to build on in, and that's why we're going to see a return to the sunshine. As we look at current temperatures across upper Michigan, around 40 right along the Lake Superior shoreline, case in point, 40 downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard, but we got around 50 along the Michigan Wisconsin border, 51 for Iron Mountain. Officially at the Weather Service today, we had a high temperature of 47. 41 was today's low. Downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard chillier. 41 was today's high, 37 the low, and almost a quarter inch of rain at the Weather Service in Nagani Township. So the rain showers are going to continue tonight. Can't rule out some spotty wintry precipitation as you go into the higher terrain west of Marquette. Lows tonight, 30s to around 40. Tomorrow, temperatures range from around 40, maybe the 30s, right along Lake Superior to around 50 south central UP. And then as we go into Wednesday morning here, we'll start off with temperatures in the 30s. A few spots inland west could start off in the 20s. And then for Wednesday afternoon with sunshine, that should help temperatures inland, not shorts weather, but should help out a little bit with highs away from the Great Lakes around 50 or the 50s. Going to have to deal with some wind as we go into Tuesday afternoon. And this will be out of the north northwest at times. You can see here potentially gusting over 30 miles per hour. Here's your UP community extended forecast. Marquette, Marquette County will have the wind to deal with for Tuesday along with some rain showers, chilly, and then inland temperatures warm up Wednesday through Saturday. For the eastern UP, we'll see temperatures that will be in the 40s for high temperatures on Tuesday, but we're back to around 50 for inland high temperatures on Wednesday, Thursday, and also Friday. For Delta County and Escanaba, we'll see temperatures around 50 for Tuesday, 50s for Wednesday, Thursday, and also Friday with the sunshine returning as you can see there for Delta County and Escanaba on Wednesday. And that's going to be the same for the interior west. We'll see temperatures in the 40s for Tuesday, but we're back into the 50s Wednesday through Saturday with sunshine. And then for the Keweenaw Peninsula, we'll see temperatures that will be in the 40s for Tuesday, 50s for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and also Saturday as you go inland. And once again, just a little reminder, we could see a rain shower or a snow shower. Not looking to add up to much at this point Thursday night into Friday morning. Becca, we'll send it back over to you.